For nearly a year now, fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe have been trying to puzzle out where the story is going in the aftermath of Avengers Infinity War. But now, a new special look trailer has arrived for Avengers Endgame, the franchise's 22nd movie, on the very same morning that tickets for the movie went on sale. Barely a minute long, the teaser provides some of the most thrilling and substantial Endgame footage we've seen yet. Want to know how the trailer might clue us in to what actually happens in the movie? Here's a potentially spoiler-filled look at the small details you may have missed in the special look trailer for Avengers Endgame. Everyone knows Endgame is revving up for a rematch between the Avengers and Thanos, a grudge match which the new trailer seems to explicitly show. But what if that rematch happens sooner than we think? It's very likely. A mix of rumors and reports indicate that the marketing for Avengers Endgame features footage from only the first 15 or 20 minutes of the movie, keeping the secrets of its story held close to the vest until the movie has rolled out in theaters. While the 15 to 20 minute window that's been reported doesn't seem exactly right, Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige has said in an interview with MTV News that those reports are still somewhat accurate. If he's being truthful, it implies that the trailer footage of the Avengers facing off against Thanos again won't come at the end of the movie, but instead somewhere in the first act. This theory tracks with multiple purported leaks from the movie that have claimed the Avengers will team up to fight Thanos in space somewhere in the beginning of Endgame. It's possible that the team will even defeat him in this battle, but in a way that prevents the Fallen from being revived. If it feels wild to you, consider that Infinity War kicked off with Hulk fighting Thanos within the first five minutes of the film. So if you think it's unlikely that this movie will hit the ground running with its plot, think again. These are going to be three dense hours. One of the biggest rumors that's been swirling about Avengers Endgame is that it will feature a significant jump forward in time, with some reports claiming the whole movie will be set five years after Infinity War. The trailers have finally given us enough footage to assume that a time jump will indeed occur, but in the middle of the movie rather than before it begins. The biggest clue about when the Avengers are at any given point is the hairstyle of Natasha, aka Black Widow. In Infinity War, she memorably sports a blonde bob, presumably to work incognito as a member of Cap's Secret Avengers. The trailers for Endgame have shown the character with both that same blonde hairdo, but also a return to her longer red-haired style, similar to what she wore in previous movies. In the new trailer, Natasha can be seen in her Infinity War haircut in the Guardian's Benatar ship, presumably on the way to fight Thanos somewhere in space, an act which seems to be predicted by Bruce Banner's line. If we do this, we'd be going in short-handed. That phrasing seems to imply that the Avengers will take the fight to Thanos where he is, wherever he is. At the end of Infinity War, Thanos retired to a peaceful life on a farm on a planet the Russo brothers have called Titan II. The special look trailer seems like it might show the Avengers encountering him back on the first Titan, in the still smoldering rubble left behind from their first encounter with him. Whatever happens in this fight, it seems like it won't result in the revival of the people Thanos snapped away. After the snap in Infinity War, Thanos' gauntlet was left smoldering and damaged, potentially leaving him vulnerable to attack, especially if the team now has Captain Marvel on their side. I like this one. If they actually do kill Thanos, then it makes sense why the Avengers and the world would begin to move on with their lives afterward, which is what seems to be happening in the previously released Super Bowl teaser, which showed many shots of an abandoned and neglected world. But this status quo would be disrupted by the return of Scott Lang's Ant-Man, who was seen in the second trailer roaming around a world well after the snap. If Ant-Man approaches the Avengers with his new knowledge of time travel, it could lead the team to reunite for a full victory not just beating Thanos, but keeping him from ever killing the trillions of people he did in Infinity War. Apart from all the time travel, time skip, rematch shenanigans, the new footage also shows a remarkably touching moment between two characters, the relevance of which may have slipped by some viewers. The first trailer for Endgame saw Tony and Nebula adrift in space on the now-abandoned Benatar, and the special look teaser seems to show the moment the two will arrive back on Earth with Tony being embraced by Pepper Potts and Nebula getting her bearings as she lands on Earth for the first time. While Rocket saw Groot fall away into dust at the end of Avengers Infinity War, he has no knowledge whatsoever regarding the fate of the rest of his team. For all he knows, when he sees the Benatar screaming into the Earth's atmosphere for a landing, it's the rest of his team coming back, ready to pick him up and get out of there. So imagine his surprise when he sees Nebula, and only Nebula, instead. 
This moment of these two former enemies offering each other some comfort is more than likely the moment Rocket realizes that he's lost everyone to Thanos. And it's probably not long before these two outer space outcasts decide to suit up as Avengers instead. Fans have known for quite a while that the production of Avengers Endgame involved the recreation of set pieces from past movies in the MCU, specifically the Battle of New York against Thanos' army of Shatari that wrapped up the end of the first Avengers movie. Leaked set photos are the main culprit for why so many fans figure Endgame will center on time travel, but the latest trailer seems to show some footage of the Avengers actually working in the past. During the special look spot, there's a brief moment that shows Iron Man soaring through the sky in what appears to be New York City, with a clip looking like it could have come straight out of the first Avengers. If anything, it's certainly a much sunnier look at the city than the rest of Endgame's marketing has shown so far. So is this a shot of future Tony soaring through past New York, working on some plan to get the Space Stone out of the Tesseract before Loki can even begin the invasion? It seems possible, and even likely, that this shot is one of our first looks at the Endgame's tour through Marvel movies past. With this final movie of Phase 3, the relationship between Iron Man and Captain America seems to finally be coming full circle. Just check out this huge moment. You trust me. I do. And that looks like more than just a handshake. It looks like it could be a moment that signifies the official repair of their relationship. This is something we've been waiting for since the end of Captain America Civil War, a handshake three years in the making. One question that remains is just which Tony and Steve this is. If this encounter takes place while the Avengers are traveling through time, then it's possible that this meetup is a present Tony and a past version of Steve, or vice versa. It's hard to tell, but it is interesting to note that Steve is wearing what looks like his outfit from Infinity War, but without the beard potentially implying that this is indeed a cap post-Infinity War. If that's the case, then this clip really does show our heroes making good after all these years. Back on each other's side to face Thanos' ultimate threat. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about Avengers Endgame are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.